Today I want to talk about creating your own custom styles and wildcards. While these might seem like simple features in Focus, they can be powerful tools for creativity and streamlining your workflow. From saving large prompts to a single trigger word, to easily creating and activating your own collection of positive and negative prompts. And with that, let's get started. The styles list is a great source of inspiration and creativity, but it can also be an easy way to have your own collection of your favorite positive and or negative prompts. If you have a set of prompts that you use in certain situations often, you can turn these into saved styles to make your life a little easier. Luckily, it's not a complicated process. Let's go into our focus folder and then SDXL styles. Here are several JSON files, each holding a collection. First, I will create a copy of one of the files. Then if we open it with Notepad, we can see each individual style and what it adds to your prompt. So when we add Cinematic Diva, we get all this added to our positive prompt and all of these to our negative prompt. Now, if we want to add our own, we can simply highlight between the two parentheses here and delete. Then either type out what you want here or paste it. When using Realistic Vision, there was a suggested positive and negative prompt that I always use. So I will make a style out of that. Here, I will copy the positive prompt and put it here. And do the same with the negative prompt. Unrealistic Dream is an embed for 1.5 that I don't use in SDXL, so don't include that. And remember to not have a comma after the last word. Before this style is completed, we need to add in where our text prompt will go. In the Realistic Vision prompt, you can see here it says Subject. This is where it suggests you add to the prompt. So we will erase that and add in prompt with the two curved brackets around it. It's very important to have this, otherwise it won't work correctly. Then we can name it whatever we want. I will name it JIA Realistic. The initials are just to make it easier to find and filter out in search. Now that one is done. If you want to add more, keep doing the same. But when done, we want to remove all the other ones from here. And we want it to look like this. The last brace having no comma and the last bracket to close all of it. Now save it and close. And we want to rename it to something custom but we always want to keep the first part as SDXL, underscore, styles, underscore. Then whatever name you like. If you want to add an image sample that pops up when you hover over it, you can create your own 128 by 128 JPG and put it into the sample folder and name it after the style you want. Mine was JIA Realistic, so I will do the same here and make sure to add the underscore into the file name, no spaces. Then after that, we can open up or restart focus go to the styles and search for our new preset. Now we have our old realistic vision positive and negative prompt. Here are images using the new prompt and without. It gives the images a little more punch to them. Is it better than just having the default focus styles? That's subjective, but the point is you can create any collection of positive and negative prompts you want now. Now let's move on to wildcards. Uh, wildcards generally are used for their random factors to help with your creativity but I also like to use them when making a long prompt about a specific subject that I use often and want to be able to bring up with a single trigger word. For example, I have this prompt. It's quite long, but very specific. If I wanted to be able to use it often without having to keep it somewhere to copy and paste every time, then I can simply turn it into a wildcard. And let's go to our focus folder again and go to focus, then wildcards. Then I'm going to make a new text document and name it to my subject. I'll call her Jess, then open it and paste my long prompt in there. Main thing for this to work is that there is no line breaks. It will use this entire prompt as long as you didn't hit enter and make a new paragraph. If we leave it like this, every time we put in the wildcard command Jess, it will use this prompt. Wildcards are activated by using two underscores, the wildcard file name, and then two more underscores, no spaces in there. Now, if you wanted it to randomly switch between different prompts, maybe a similar prompt, but with different clothing, you can do that and then it, it will randomize between the two. Or you could have these as individual wildcards and create a separate file for different clothing or other specific details. There are lots of possibilities. Now let's look at some traditional wildcard uses and also making nested wildcards. A traditional wildcard will look something like this, a file named vegetables and then a list of various types of vegetables. If you input the wildcard keyword of vegetables, it will randomly pick one of the words inside this file.
but let's say you have multiple files of fruits, vegetables, proteins, and all kinds of food items in separate text files. We could add all of these into another file and have a nested wildcard that will randomly select a word within all of these files. So let's take our three files of fruits, vegetables, and proteins and make a new text file called food. Then inside that text, we will add our wildcard keyword for each of the other files. And now using the keyword food, we'll activate this wildcard to randomly choose a word in all three of those files. It's basically like adding all of the words from each of those files into one big wildcard. This is an easy way if you wanted to combine multiple wildcards without having to input every word in a new file. Now a quick and easy way to get a list of words for your wildcards is ChatGPT. I can simply type, give me a list of 20 fruits, and it will do just that, and in the exact format we need for our wildcards. Select them all and copy. Then go back to our wildcard folder and add a new text document. Open that and paste the list of fruits. Make sure to delete any extra unwanted words like this. Then go to File and Save As, then save it to whatever wildcard trigger word you like. Then you can go back to your prompt and input your new wildcard. And it will pick random words from that new text document we just created. This is a very basic demonstration of wildcards and what is possible with them. You can make wildcards for various clothing, poses, settings, and anything that would benefit from variety. It's an easy way to get a little randomness in your images and maybe get some fresh ideas. And if you ever are struggling for some prompt ideas, a good place to go to is Civit AI and check out the images there. Even if they are using a different model or added LoRa's, it's a good place to get an idea for something new that you maybe didn't think of. You can even go to the Juggernaut XL model page and scroll down to see images produced with that model. If you find something you like, you can hit the little white circle info icon, then go up to the prompt and hit this to copy it. Then go back to focus and paste it. It won't be the same, of course, but you can use this prompt to build off of. It's an easy way to get inspiration and start a new project. It's an easy way to help you get started when you aren't good at prompting and see an image that interests you. And that's all I have for today. I hope you found this useful and informational, and I will see you all in the next one.